Alright, <clears throat> excuse me, Grand Rising, everyone. It is Shalanda or Shay Seeking. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I feel like, like, ever since I woke up, I mean, I feel like I felt like this presence here as if, you know, it's, a, it's almost like a masculine energy wondering if I know something, like a hovering energy here. I feel like a part of that person is maybe... <laughs> Again, dealing with in this energy on that level. Mm. <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> like there's a message or whatever that came to me last night. And it, it, was, it sounded really sweet coming to. See, because I feel like the spirit realm or a spirit body has been through many deaths for some of us, of, again, me. I feel like these are people to refuse to realize what they dealing with when they come here. And so even when they feminines come here or their feminines are connected and they don't see the things that I might see when it comes to these feminines, they don't see the abuses and the things that I have witnessed from these women. And so sometimes they come here defensive or they come here to harm me because of something I might've said about one of these feminines, but it doesn't matter. These are men that are worshiping idols over God. And these are men that may be also upset because they can't get into the temple of heaven. These might be the same men that might want to tear somebody apart right now, right? And remember I said about the only thing about Moshe being the only one in the temple. You know, I, I was like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because okay, Mo, Moshe, to me, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know. Moshe energy can be on both sides, depending on who who playing Moshe's part right now. I always get Jake. <laughs> Jake. Energy. And sword energy. King of swords, queen of swords, sword energy. These are also people that get into people's minds so they can find things in your mind or into your Akashic or whatever to try to cut you off with that. But there's a, a presence of uh, something higher saying who has already washed and made been washed and made clean. Like we said yesterday. So who is somebody to judge somebody who, that's been made clean? So again, these are the things people will make up things if they can't find things about you or try to lure you into situations if they can't do this. My thing that I have a problem with is again, I know where the temple is. I know where the temple of God is, and that change is not. There's men on earth that may try to create an adulterous energy. Um, I mean, not an adulterous, but a, 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 an idol, and may may create their own temple and have people worship there. And those are the people that those are the people that are holding on to maybe one of these masculine energies that because this masculine energy has been filling their cup for a long time and now that this masculine energy you know um th so this may be a king of wands energy maybe want to go back or to maybe veer towards or maybe he's just coming to check on a feminine energy they're afraid of that feminine they're intimidated by that feminine and again we'll just say because they think when he they knows when he comes back home okay because again it's making me think about um like a dog roam or something like that, okay? But it's like when he, he come back home, it's over for them to stay, not just to take samples of and deliver. But when when that person, when that masculine come home to stay, to whomever that feminine is, and there's the energy here where I feel like there's murder on the minds of some people because of that. All over the, all over this whole plane. There's something about that energy. Those two. This is why, again, I feel like we're in that energy of someone calling a woman an adulterous woman. Even though a woman have not been practicing any type of forms of this, you know, like I said, are these beings that are coming in and trying to create illusions for people as if someone was some kind of way when they weren't? Because, again, adulterous doesn't only mean 
you know, to have sex with somebody. This also means people having um, intermingling with other groups besides who they're supposed to be mingling with. This is like Shemites coming and dealing with uh, Moabites and doing things that may affect the Shemites. You know what I'm saying? And you you sharing these, um, you may even possibly, um, what was I going to say? Share um, like classified information. Something that might put the people at harm or as, you know, at, uh, at stake. In a careless manner because somebody topped you off maybe a little bit better than somebody else or you think or so you think. Because, again, you know, when it comes to this energy, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are curious. This is a thing of I feel masculine energy is trying to make other feminines energy um, jealous. The thing is, I'm not jealous of not a motherfucking. I'm going to tell you. When you hear me calling out, if you hear this cage bird sing or say something that's un be known, it is it is because I have already witnessed what you may not have seen. Now, see, this is how I know that these masculine energies that act like they see all, but they really don't see all all the time. They come to certain women or certain feminine energies to see. And if they really want to see, they come to the empress. Because she sees shit that she didn't even know she see. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. So that's that energy I posted on uh, Shay underscore seeking on Instagram with th that eye being constricted by a viperous energy. That is the energy, the energy of these masculines, right? Coming to the temple, but I can smell the stench on them, okay? Of these other women that are constricting, they're constricting them or putting sorcery or spell work on them and then they're coming to me and then they end up get that 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 energy ends up coming in and wrapping itself around my mind's eye see so i'm offended when, when you come with earthly worldly things or um about you know it, these these the, and, and again these women they can only really talk about the empresses finances right because she's a she's an empress stat she really don't need nothing but these things that's around her okay like her pineal gland her heart these are the things that she deal with she is the fucking abundance she is the kingdom do you see what i'm saying and she deals with a lot of energies a lot of masculine energy so it's easy for people to take what she's saying just because she is someone who is um illuminated or somebody that might even have uh, telepathic communication, many streams of telepathic communication, they try to use that as to say that she is an adulterous woman. And see, and that's where it gets me. Because be prior to, well, I don't know why I was about to say 1792, but I think it's 1797 or 1798. Prior to, excuse me, colonization, these women were again um well i would say yeah these were they were empresses they they embodied all of the queens in the deck they they had this you know also magician energy probably you know sword the wand um yeah now that i'm thinking about it so these were warrior women these were a different type of woman it wasn't just a hustler that could give you a good pep talk. You see? She also was a warrior. She had to have a certain eye to be able to see certain things that almost well, her man might not be able to pick up on. And that's to let him know about some of these feminine energies that might be after something else. And this is why, again, you can't select who the empress is. The empress is born the empress. The empress is born with that fucking crown on her head, unfortunately, but fortunately. So if the empress feels like her position on this plane, because it ain't never going to really change <laughs> like that. But on this plane, somebody is trying to attempt to dethrone her. She is. That's the only time she is going to call somebody out. That's the only time she is even going to speak about another feminine energy because she already know who she is. 
all this other stuff is just entertainment or it's even her defense energy because most of the time this feminine is attacked or a uh, sorcery has been put on her to block her from what masculines are doing her being that temple or that capital dome or the pentagon right pent up shit she's handling pent up things also that have been done to her by all these men and that sometimes they feel like they can discard her or again cut that part off the part that the builders reject and they go on and they build and then they take somebody that may be a jake energy or another foreign energy and they try to place this person on top of the temple in the worldly realm forgetting that once you leave the temple of once you leave this body you then left heaven so whatever else is going on you see what i'm saying it's that part like we were saying about the lord yesterday that's as far as they go you see what i'm saying but that don't mean that a person that is holy or the Holy One is not going to have to deal with those individuals or those entities anymore. I feel like once you start putting these idols above God, that's as far as you can go. Once somebody say, oh, well, this looks better. This take Because you want to move the temple of God, you can't do that. And that's what I'm saying about mind control. And that's what I mean about hosting or energy of sometimes I'll be feeling like, especially when I wake up in the middle of the night, like I feel like there's a shadowing energy. And it's so funny because when I went and looked up two terms real quick before, I was just interested. I think it was heaven and something else. I wanted to reanalyze those. And then I said, okay, I got it. See, because this is the sorcery. This is what's done in the dark that comes to light. These are the things that they don't really talk. These are, you know, um, you know, they try to kill somebody off and make them like a tomb. And these are people that rob tombs. So while the person is dead, they trying to make, they're trying to poke, you know, those crown, that crown of thorns. They're poking stuff in there all day to get you to react because they feel like, you know, if you're shut down with this, this earthly, on this earthly realm, you know what I'm saying? That they've done something, not realizing that the kingdom of heaven is all forever burning inside of this individual and you can't take it away. It's imposter energy. Like I said, it's many people that see people within certain communities or see people on their platforms and they say, oh, look how sweet this person is. They so helpful. They just try. But you don't see the shit that I see that they do. You don't see, like I said, people trying, me sensing that some of these feminine energy on me while I'm looking at my energy within them. Do you understand what I'm saying? You imagine being a feminine energy and seeing all the parts of you, like your pineal gland right here and these trees sticking to it, sucking off of it. It's succubus energy all day and your heart being fucked with by all these energies and stuff like this in order to make you even maybe only want to be with feminine energy. I feel like, like I said, this goes with what we was talking about even yesterday, man. There's an energy out here that is a jealous God with a little G, very powerful, very old. That wants this empress to be a certain way. When she gets, when she gets, she lovers, what she's entitled to. This is God. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is God on earth. This is somebody that don't have to go to, you know what I'm saying? If you want to say they got to go to Jesus, that means because she is playing the role of Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Or the Hierophant. Because I do notice this red robe underneath her um, seat here. Now, I'm thinking if, you know, this Hierophant was a husband, like a close energy to her or something. And I don't know. I'm just wondering. Because in real life right now, I feel like there was a Hierophant that was harmed within the past six months or recently. I don't know. I just feel like something like this. That had some ties with it. And again, when you go back, these same women that I may be talking about, they may have gotten something out of this and may have been supposed to be breaking bread with somebody else, maybe like the Empress. And these are people that come in and make sure that that don't happen. See? Because the Empress, unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you, she is a boss on many levels, but she is someone that stuff is to be brought to. And I feel like some of these people don't feel like this person deserves to just sit there and just get and you know what? So she sit there and she don't get and she don't complain that much, but she calls shit out for what it is. She calls things out for what it is and she don't grab the first thing that comes to her when it comes to finances or something. And she may people may say, OK, you can stay that way. You know, you too pious or you too 
something like this. But at the end of the day, if I don't know where it came from or what your intentions is or you can't face me. See, a lot of people can't face her. They can't even come close to her because this is God's temple on earth. There is a radiance or a glow that bothers these people, even the ones that act so holier than thou. Because she sees a part of them that nobody else on this earth is going to be able to see. And that's why, unfortunately, these people keep doing these things and keep doing these things. And she is still standing. This is somebody that could have been damn near died several times and already didn't come back. Again, we want to say on a spiritual level. Okay. But these demons, they keep bumping. They, they don't know. They, they have no sense like that. And she knows that. And so that's why she tried not to pay attention to that much with these people. And their threats and their accusations. But she will call somebody out. See, because that's these men. Oh, I got something over here or whatever. Okay, well, whatever. Again, in any other tradition, if you were to be treasonous or something like that to your queen, you're going to lose your fucking head. There shall be no other gods with that little G beside me. You know, this is probably why I didn't have many girlfriends growing up. And the two friends that I did have, I feel like what source is showing me is that this masculine energy came back in town looking for me, that these feminine energies was messing on them. Or behind my back, this shit was going on with the two best friends that I did have. See, that's what I'm saying. It's whatever that empress touched. That's what a motherfucker want. And see, then I'm dealing with this masculine energy. I feel like they haven't recovered from whatever past issues. That want to try to use these feelings to make me jealous. But you're not, you know what I'm saying? That you're not or whatever you're doing. And then claim not to be. But whatever you're doing, it don't, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Y'all look, you know, and that's what I'm saying. This shit is real life for me. What y'all look like. And then somebody wants to say, I'm, no, I'm just saying make sure you know what's in that food or that macaroni and cheese and shit before you eating it. And I'm just saying make sure you know, you know what I'm saying, these powerful uh, tactics and these silent things that some of these sorceries and some of these women that deal with gin energy can do to you. I'm just saying be careful. <laughs> See, and they feel like just because I know the angels, well, do you think that I stress? Because I feel like the angels or these entities have walking away from me. No. I feel like that's the energy of them coming back. But I don't know if it's that. Dog. I don't know. Wagging their tails behind them. But I feel like now, you know, somebody might be upset because they can't have full access. <clears throat> because, again, the Empress deals with every single being. She loves all beings. But she will call out some shit. That's why she's sitting how she's sitting. She's dealing with witches, sorcerers, all these people like this. All these people that also think that they're because she's she's locked in the one place. They want to get her to move off that spot or something like this or leave or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? It's not. Nah. Like I told you, for Empress to move, shit is going to have to be made. Um, that's just what, I, that's how I feel. Like, this is what I see. Like, I don't know, something woke me up this morning, and this is what lets me know that I feel like somebody did try to take down another masculine energy, a strong presence, a righteous or strong presence, or maybe even just might be one of the ones that's, that went rogue um, that somebody did something to, because, um, I don't know, whenever I feel like whenever people try to use something against me or whatever, I just get stronger and stronger because behind the scenes, I don't have no real malice, but I did read today. Okay. In this text, but I, I said, this is just, you know, it seems like one of those impossible things or whatever, but I did read bits of anger. Somebody added that, but I don't know if that's originally in the Bible or not because everybody going to get mad. Okay. And then I also, it was the same, um, verse that we read earlier, but excuse me, they had added passion to it. And then I said, okay, they added passion to it. Let me go ahead and look up passion. But these are, excuse me, bits of anger and passion 
are normal things to people. So again, we have to be careful when you use common sense and discernment, even when you're reading the Bible, because we know that some stuff has been placed in there to make it impossible to seem, you know, like your so-called, um, it's, it's, it's ways to call these things out or whatever, to make it seem like somebody that did this or does this once in a while is evil and they're not righteous and they're not holy or whatever. Okay. Because other, other than that, they say, oh, somebody's holier than thou because they say, no, ain't nobody never said that. But what you going, what I'm going to tell you is I ain't never went and picked up no, no, um, shit, no background to try to figure out how to do a spell on nobody is what you never going to find. What you never going to find is like I said, me using no motherfucking drugs. What you never going to find is a time in my life where I was a drunkard, What you never going to find, you know what I'm saying? And again, and we're talking adultery, right? Because again, to me. Sex, the sexual adult, uh, immoralities and stuff means something else to me. When if you, even if we're in a, uh, if we talking relationship wise, and somebody is open and honest, and you come up, it's say okay, look at this. This let's separate this from the biblical text real quick. Let's say we are dealing with this emperor's energy, this kingdom energy. Okay, so. It's your kingdom, you know, whatever. We all wear, like, stop trying to play about where the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the river that flows or whatever. But then also I'm thinking, like, you know, um, mm, I just thought about the stairway, uh, the stairway to heaven or Jacob's ladder. Because I feel like Jacob was climbing the ladder of the, yeah, the lion... Jacob got through the lion's gate and that's how he got, okay, a lizard with a ladder, okay, yeah, okay, so again, this makes me think about DNA research or something, why, hmm, okay, so, yeah, so anyways, this is why the empress might be a little bit reserved with the lion's gate because people take it and spread it and then they want to use it against the empress, which is why this, these people, this crowd of people is down here that look like wheat or the wheat that look like people. Spect spectators. Goodness, somebody alarm clock is going off. It just distracted me. Where did we just go? And they just going to keep it going, ain't they? Mm, where were we just at? I don't even know what that was. Hold on. Let me get back on track. Hold on one second. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of people look at the Empress as a prudent energy. But she's just very... It's like Fort Knox around the motherfucker. Like, when she know who she is... It's like that. So again, if any of these stars, she knows that any of these stars or any of these energies start walking away from her. I feel it's not her fault, but I feel naturally things start to be depleted. Protection starts to be depleted. We, as you walk away from the empress, because she has to stay mounted in her position. Okay. So as you go away from her, I feel like that's how... You know, I feel like some of these masculines maybe witness that I like the further they go away or astray, not like you can't have a real life, but it's that honor. It's that something that you supposed to just be having for that temple dome. And I feel like some people might even get bored being there. You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing is, it is that, it's that bond. It's about that bond. You know what I'm saying? That the same way I'm looking out for you while you close or you in the crown. You know what I'm saying? Or you in that area. The same way I feel you should be looking. But I feel like this is what happens with this woman all the time. These masculine energies get distracted. Some kind of way. Sorcery sometimes uh, by cho choice. But again, any kind of like 
overly sexual because it's saying something about orgies and all this other stuff in here okay so any of those things that is going to take away i mean it, it's it like i said i don't know why hedonism or something is on my mind i don't even know exactly what that's all about or anything like that but yeah it's something that feels it's like a desirous pleasurous something i think okay i don't know i haven't even looked into it but it's kind of maybe intoxicating whatever this feeling is what i'm getting when i'm seeing this word or when i'm Think about what, what, what this would be pertaining to. Because regular lustful energy is regular. People are normally, some people get, you know, you know, this just happens. So to say that this is something that's a sin or something like, I don't know. It's, it's just like, like I said, just dealing with all of this right now is just like a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> It's out of this world, but it's also overwhelming. You know, like I expect you to be, if you is dealing with a feminine energy in the kingdom or she's having some kind of access to you and you work for the kingdom or you in the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Then what that feminine energy doing, you know, or cooking up in the background, your ass better be aware of it. And most of the time these masculines is not aware of it, but the empress no, now is she has been led to this woman these feminine energies not because she wanted to most time she appeared in on something that they were giving or sending towards her or a piece of her that been borrowed because she's been split into several pieces by these masculines in order for them to be able to you know be all over the world doing whatever fuck the girls you know whatever all over the world so they feel like they take a piece of the empress and spread it out you know what i'm saying then that's just like duplicating her but these and then they start that what they mess up is they start worshiping these feminine energies these other th energies and that's what makes me think about india superior ancient antiquities of india how the cow was holy and they cherished the cow and they did these things and brought flowers and stuff like that but the thing is you know now um, it's funny because I'm just thinking like the red heifer and then the golden calf. Okay. Wow. We did something on the red heifer a while back. Um, the red sea. I don't know. I, it made me think like. Why did they specifically say the golden calf? Like, was it another calf? That was another calf. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing like dipped in gold, like. Was that, like, I don't know. Was that just a way of, you, some, somebody that was drenched in lux, luxurious things, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Because, again, they said they brought all their gold and everything like this. But then again, you know, maybe this also means that some people are going to help out you know, who was calling it? Was it Moshe that called this calf an idol? Could that be a trick? And that calf was not an idol. It was actually who God put in place, but nobody didn't want that. And so they tried to figure out a way to make it seem like, hmm, look, y'all, something happened. Like a major, like something happened. Somebody trying to show me something. And I, did, I think I need to slow down. This is the first time I feel like I have to slow down. I'm gaining like entry into another doorway or something here. And I feel like I need to take my time. Something has happened here. Somebody is doing something new or different. I think somebody is tired or somebody was tired. Somebody is doing something different here. See, because there are those ones, these stars right here that are around this crown that do have access or have been in. So these are also people that are kind of like reminder. Uh, these are like these angelic beings that, you know, you can't have no intruders here up in that area with these stars in this crown. Because they have access to things. And when they go off, okay, that's why I can see these female energies. That's why I don't miss either. I know what feminine energies is, is um, connected. If they come past my way, I know which energies are connected to the crown some kind of way. Without sometimes these masculines have to tell me. I find out first. So that's another messed up thing. 
Because it's almost like not about the person personally. It's never about anything personally for me. It's about whatever energy is being brought or whatever I feel is being done to contaminate or something like that. It is a defensory, and that's the thing. She, This is why I feel like of being out in that energy of having to be on the defense. This, that is, that is sometimes mistaken for somebody being bitter. But you're almost like a commander in chief kind of energy as well. Like, and people don't understand that you're also handling hate of, hate of wands. God damn, is that what we going to call it now? <laughs> you're also dealing with <laughs> eight of wands and also trying to make sure, you know what I'm saying? When you see somebody getting a little bit too close to that temple or whatever, because then I feel like there's somebody that may be trying to slaughter the calf or slaughter the, or, you know, this could be somebody real close, like a family member, a brother, son, something like this. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get close to the, you know, the heifer so he can, uh, slew or slot you know or the lamb energy okay so again it, when when i just read something about you know whose names weren't written in the you know the book that just made me think about yeah them names back uh, two years ago with that enoch energy of walking with another higher being okay some kind of way and who was in that um Hmm. Wow. The thing is, I feel masculine and feminine energy, period, be jealous of the... Imp and she don't even have time, really. You know, she could throw out a couple alerts here and there, but she don't even have time to really be trying to go back and get some payback and some this. That. I mean, I'm just saying. And I feel like maybe something is telling me, okay, something might telling me about, I don't know, because I'm hearing home run and I'm also seeing like that shape of a baseball field for some reason. I don't, is that like a, or the diamond or whatever? Oh, yeah. Oh. That restraint. That triangle or that boundary that's tra trapping that eye. And the light. Ah. That boundary that's trapping the star. The hermit. So this is somebody that secretly watches the star. And this is the copycat energy. Okay. Okay. Succubus energy that I picked up on already a long time. And people say, oh, this person's so sweet. Why it seems like Shay C can be going at her? Did you see me say something personal about this person? No. I think the person is beautiful. I think that the, she, these person have uh, sweet tendencies. But I see your ass. I see the part of you that they don't. And that's the thing. And also when putting up um, borders or a, a, a something of defense here. This is when these people get very upset when you pull back and reserve because again, that's that energy. Okay. It's to ensnare, to entrap. Okay. <laughs> this is that energy that's connected to both that masculine and that feminine energy. This is somebody that just told themselves that they was going to go ahead and go to the top spot and top and grab that top Aquarius energy. Take that top spot though. In heaven. See, this vassal, this body is that. Even when you talk about the world card, the the um and when we talk about the um Anunnaki energy or that flighty energy, I feel like that's somebody less like somebody. Like me and this individual, me and this masculine may be um a different breed, right? But it's almost like him already being in that situation with someone like him. I'm hearing someone like you, okay, that's coming in to my or watching on high or at a distance for a minute here. Yeah. 
And so I wouldn't even have known that this person was there, but I knew that there's a connection between that. So again, this person did exhibit jealousy symptoms and saying, yeah, that if a motherfucker gonna do this, I better knock your ass upside your head and boom, 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 boom. So, so this Aquarius energy may not remember. So maybe this person is speaking out to me about something here. I told you. It's a whole bunch of newbie shit going on. And I feel like there's this dark, he cool too, but there's this dark um, reader that be amping up Aquarius like that, a hype man, you know, and I feel like, again, this may not be this person. Of course, this person may not have they, mm, it's something surrounding that person. It may be even something, something that this masculine energy didn't know that she's involved with some other energy and voila, mm. I don't know if this makes sense to y'all, but it's making a whole bunch of hell of a lot of sense to me. Why I feel somebody's is almost like I hear your brother's blood crying out to me from the from the land or from the earth. So again, this is a father in heaven, maybe. Okay, I don't know. But I feel like somebody is trying to get rid of this. I'm hearing about uh, something for sale. Okay. Somebody's trying to hurry up and sell something. An RV, a boat, a yacht, something like this. Get rid of a body because <laughs> this design by the wisdom of time. And I couldn't be without you without losing my mind, which one of them songs that came on and really struck my heart strings like somebody was trying to pull, pull on them yesterday. This is a this is a dangerous thing because dealing with this individual or this entity, this other God energy here, <laughs> living God energy, it has very many pieces of to this masculine energy. And, you know, tap, like it's all with these females, baby mama or, you know, uh, whoever, whatever you feel like the softest place on earth is at the moment or, you know, um, you know, this is it's very Mm -hmm. toxic is very surface level, um, pleasurable, you know, and then they, they, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. They come back here like, oh, you acting like that? No, motherfucker. I just don't, I can't deal with whatever that is. <laughs> Not like I'm better than nobody or nothing, but I'm trying to keep myself, you know what I'm saying? Level. I'm, I'm just trying to keep myself, you know, mm-mm. When it's too heavy, and matter of fact, once they've been too, when they've been defiling themselves with energies too much, then I like I don't I don't even see them no more. And it, it it used to be the worst thing for me to wake up and think, and if I didn't wake up in the morning and think about this one, it's like almost like God's favorite angel Lucifer until until he fell. And sometimes be thinking like, damn, if one day when I if I if this masculine or these two masculines or this masculine is not on my mind when I wake up in the morning, what would that mean? I seek, I seek them out first th before I think about my motherfucking self in the morning. I seek out these two individuals to see if they okay in my mind. Before I even think, and this is the thing about it being something that is out of my control. That's what people don't like. They don't want to accept the fact that this is separate from my regular life, but it's really not. Even before, in, in this, it might be wrong to say that, but this is a heaven, like, that's what I'm saying. You have to be somebody, which is not that many people, that is actually can say that heaven is my abode and earth is my footstool. I actually think they may have a version of me in the fuck heaven, but it's not me. And maybe it's that Aquarius energy that be with that star attaching to the, the head of the, uh, the star in the star card. Maybe that's that energy, you know, spying energy. This is somebody trying to go up and grab that top spot of God or take it over or manipulate it in some kind of way. Or just even as that shadow governing energy, which is unnecessary and not needed. But this, I feel like whoever did this is attaching themselves to the feminine energy under the guise as if it's this masculine energy, but it's really a feminine energy that now wants to be God. So I have to be careful that nobody's trying to hijack or get in my head. You see what I'm saying? This is some dangerous shit because if that masculine dies or if this 
Aquarius energy that which is you know can really see up high too right okay if this Aquarius energy is gets like that with this man this emperor or whatever and kills this emperor see out of a fit of anger or jealousy because they can see some of them can see whatever's in the back of my head and this is why I think I gravitate uh towards um uh, tarot a little bit because again I know that whatever these people have done to create that blockage or whatever so they can get away with whatever fuck they've been getting away with they spew it out through tarot or through you know re this is why queens and shit like that used to have like a Nostradamus or something like that because that's that person that can see that part of them that have might have been like during some kind of ritual or some kind of something that people usually do to these bloodlines have been done in them so they needed kind of like a right hand man you know what I'm saying? God can make it happen, but it's also sometimes you want to be able just to, you don't want to be uptight. You want to be able to relax. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to be okay with going to bed or whatever at night. And I feel like that's what's happening now. They're putting people in place, but it's dangerous. Like I said, if something happened to this masculine and say they have a keep secret conservatorship over the empress. Okay. Then now this, then now this person Okay. And that's what I was saying about that judge position. Okay. And now this person has some type of top authority over the empress now. Okay. And then, you know, that leaves her not to be able to fend for herself or fight for her because now this conservator is now it's like, you got an evil stepmother over your head because she's gotten rid of the emperor. That was the blockage. There was the connection between you two, but was also something that was blocking. But I don't know. I feel like the empress have a, some woke me up out my sleep kind of, and I was hot. And so I'm just thinking, am I calling back this, this emperor or whoever that somebody might've done something to in the middle of the night? Or again, am I, am I cutting down an emperor that tried to come for me in the middle of the night? Because of, again, whatever they're trying to take and put a, a, a idol or another woman of a lower level over the empress or the queen, which is going to put her life in danger, which means that if that's what you choose, that's what you choose, but keep it fucking moving. Because again, I don't feel like it's your job to secure and make sure. And if you allowing your wife to get up in your ear and tell you something about the empress, that's when it's dangerous for me. And that's when it's like, okay, you might say cold hearted or heartless, but I'm saying I got to protect my motherfucking self because it's just too much going on here. And I'm moving towards peace and happy. And it's all when I get to that point where no matter what else is going on the outside, I'm feeling so peaceful. I'm feeling so close to not even just that guy, but myself. Because, again, that's what that fucking energy is. Mm, 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 mm. The closer I get to you, but it's the closer I get to myself. Don't know about, so I feel like the universe and the ancestors is stepping in and bringing some of these young men in, maybe. And I think some of these other emperors, maybe it is time for me to realize that, nah, honey, they was trying, it was okay when, whatever, but nah, it wasn't what you thought it was. You need a new. And so maybe that's what the fuck this is. Because like I was saying, even before I would wake up in the morning, before I would even talk, think about the Taurus that's here. I'm already thinking about these angels, it's almost like I got my angel now because I felt like though at the time, the Taurus wasn't supportive of this mission, very much hate the word and hate this God energy that I carry and whatever. But I feel like also that's competition wise. This is somebody that might be fighting for a certain level again here. So again, that maybe that person is Anunnaki. Maybe again, we both a different breed. I figure out you, you figure out me. So I feel like, hmm. Yeah. So I guess it comes to like, it's going to come down to somebody being the same breed as them that will lead them to dishonor the Empress or the world card or whatever. And I feel like that's what it is. And the Empress, but ain't nobody love this motherfucker like the Empress love this motherfucker. And so again, the Empress would never, he would never have to worry about none of that shit dealing with the Empress. Ain't never got to. But somebody of his own same kind that be it might be able to slide right up in his position, 
on that lofty fucking position. It's almost like that, that, um, I'll reach up and put, mount myself, you know, 